In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to adjust the length of an audio track to match the companion video track when it's slightly longer or slightly shorter than the video track. We're going to be using CyberLink Audio Director. So if you own Audio Director or are interested in the project, we're going to show you how to use that tool to accomplish this. Now we must say that this is when the difference is slight. We have a different tutorial if the difference is great because then you have to loop the audio or de-loop the audio, which involves cutting out a section that is repeated and either multiplying it or reducing the audio track accordingly. But when the difference between the two tracks is relatively slight percentage-wise, you can use the technique we're about to show. Now in this case, this is what I have. On the left clip, if I drag over it, I see it's 19 seconds and 7 frames. The matching audio is 20 seconds and 5 frames. The difference isn't that great. When the audio is shorter than the video, in this case I have 23 seconds, 19 frames, or I can look at 21 seconds and 23 frames. Before I go to either one of them, I need to record the length of the video tracks that we're going to use. I have 1907 on the left and 2319 on the right. And I have to convert this to digital. And since my project is 30 frames per second, 1907 converts to 19.233 and 2319 converts to 23.633. When we get to Audio Director, it's going to measure the time not in seconds and frames, but in seconds and fractions of seconds. So that will be helpful. So let's take a situation where the audio is longer and you want to slightly shorten it to match the video. I'm going to click on the audio track and then right click and go into Edit Audio, Audio Director, and that will load my Audio Director program. And in this case, I want to make it slightly shorter. Well, I have a couple things I can do in this case. I do have some space at the beginning where there is no sound, and I can take that out simply by dragging to the right and clicking on the scissors to cut. So that buys me some time. But I want, still need to adjust it because it's still longer than the accompanying video. So I'll click on the Adjust Audio tool on the left. That will give me all my audio adjustments. I'm going to pick Adjust Length, which is changing speed. Now Audio Director adjusts the length by changing the speed. It will either make it play faster, so it's done in less time, or slower, that it takes more time. So we'll click on that. And now I have my change speed. I can keep the pitch or not. We'll show you the difference in a second. And then on the new audio length, the best way I found to do this is to type in the numbers. 19 seconds. And here I want 233, three, which is equivalent to 7 frames. Now I've only adjusted this audio by 1.04. So if I listen to the original and play it, now let's listen to the adjusted result with the keep pitch selected. Not much difference. Let's turn the keep pitch off and play it again. In this case, the audio adjustment is so small, really doesn't matter if you turn the keep pitch on or off. The multiplier is so slight. Then all I need to do is select the entire clip from beginning to end and click on Apply. It will create a copy of the audio track. And then when I close it out by clicking on the X in the upper right corner, it will say, do I want to save it? Yes, I will. And as you notice, it's added another audio track expansion with a parenthesis zero, and that's the one that's put at the bottom. So now my audio and video track match perfectly. Let's look at a different situation where the gap is slightly bigger, 
and in this case I need to make the audio longer. Our choices are a little bit harder in this particular case because of the time difference. Click on it, choose the Edit Audio, and go to Audio Director again. Now it's loading my second audio clip. In this case it has a large area in the beginning where there is no sound, but I, I'm trying to make it longer rather than shorter, so I'm going to leave this in there. I'm going to also click on the same tool, the Adjust Audio, and go to Adjust Length. Now in this case, I'll type in 23, then I'll click on the decimal area, and I type in 633, which is the same as 19 frames. Now my adjustment is 8%. It's going to be 8% slower in order to accomplish that task. I'm going to click on Original Audio. Let's listen to it. Okay, that's the original. Now we have a keep pitch selected. Let's listen to the adjusted. Not bad. Pretty close to the uh, normal. What I'd like to do at this point is turn the keep pitch off and see if you can hear the difference. We also have the adjusted result selected. Now we'll turn the keep pitch back on and play. Again, the, the difference is, in, at least in my hearing, not all that significant. But if you want to keep the pitch, this is a button to listen to and compare and see which option works better in your particular case. And so because the adjustment is relatively small, the change will go really well. And so when I'm satisfied with the project and drag across the entire clip, click on the apply, it will make the changes and then I click on the X and it will save the modified copy in my media room and it will place it on the timeline. So now I look at my second clip and the audio perfectly matches the video. Here you can tell it's a little bit slower than the original, and that's how it lengthens it without modifying the sound of it too badly in the process. So that's a way in which you can adjust the slight differences between audio and video tracks using PowerDirector and AudioDirector.